Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Are you now, boys? Yes, Gavin are on the old peas here. We've gone from there to that green grass right there on the end there. Right there. Over to there and we're gonna semi load. So that's not bad I guess. Anyway, we're gonna take the old uh, freight shaker here and uh, run in and dump a load and I'll bring it back and uh, probably get some more footage here in a little bit for you. Uh, me and the brother are just in the midst of uh, getting the other one ready here. He's just got to finish buttoning the tins back up and then uh, all he's got to do after that is uh, wash it off and wash out the hopper. So anyway, good enough. I'll see you in a bit here, guys. There we go, put you on the other view. How are you doing today, guys? Good news, not so bad. We're giving her shit in the peas. They, uh, I don't know, they don't look too, too bad. They're not, they're no record-breaking yields, but if I had a guess, I'd say, I don't know, eight. Just kidding. No, they're not doing too bad, but uh, anyway, I figured I'd better get some footage here before uh, Ashley gets off work after lunch here and kicks me out of the job. And uh, whatever, that'll be all right anyway, so I can go finish uh, putting the other combine together. So, but uh, anyway, I'll get you some footage here, so let's hear her too. about, I don't know, kind of shitty in here, but about three and a half. Seems to be working all right. The old header's doing its job. guys ask if we're dropping straw but I'm gonna bail the straw well you can't you can't bail behind these uh, internal chopper uh, case combines not not peas anyways you need lots and lots of product to uh, be able to bail it just turns into dust there's nothing left so See, it does make good cattle feed, but I know lots of guys that do bail it, but we don't. Maybe if I uh, maybe if I use the other combine with the beater inside instead of the chopper, it probably would do a lot better job. But whatever. Uh, the reason why we put it on this one is because it's got real lift and four and off on here. The other one. Uh, only has real lift, so we're gonna stick the uh, the rigid head on the other one, and uh, probably start combining a bit of barley that'll keep for seed tonight. Maybe we'll see. And then we have uh, uh, what you call wheat. We'll be ready here this week too. So. I 
got to do something with that freaking crop divider on the end there. It keeps, uh, see how it's pushing the peas like that? I don't know why it does that, but whatever. Anyway, probably seen enough. I'll uh, I'll get you some footage of the outside when Ashley gets here, and then uh, that way you guys can hear it on the outside. So, all right, see you in a bit. Well, boys and girls, we got the peas wrapped up. They didn't turn out too, too bad. Uh, that's common we use the peas in. We got the concave switched out already and ready for barley and wheat. We're going to straight cut that seed barley and then straight cut the wheat. And same with this one. Now this one's ready to go too. We put the chopper back on and she's ready to mint so anyway that's that i'll uh see how much minutes i got on the bidja and maybe i'll get a bit of the starting in the wheat for you tomorrow so we'll see how things go but anyway guys we'll uh see you in the morning how's she going this morning guys good and you well we are Looking at goats, I guess. Fucking dumb things. Anyway, this combine's ready to go. We got her fueled up. Put the chopper on there yesterday, like you seen in the B4 clip. I got on the back of the other combine where the spreader drive is right here is uh, cracked. So we got to weld that up this morning. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't think, but anyway, that's the plan. Sounds like my fuel's here too, so that's even better. So I'll go get that welded up, and then uh, I'll bring you back here in a bit. So, or at least I'll show you what's wrong, and then I'll fix it, and I'll show you again. Cause I only got eight minutes. So anyway, see you in a few. Okay, guys. Well, I got her tacked together here. That's where it broke, if you can see that crack. You cracked my CD. So anyway, it looks like it's been actually welded before. But I'm gonna have to try to get underhand too. So what I'm gonna do is go right to here. Where am I here? Right here, and then bring that back around. Weld that back up there. And then I'll go up underneath and try and get that all zing-zanged in there. So. Anyway, I guess I'll uh, keep giving her shit here and got to get going. I got to dump my peas yet and uh, then go try the barley. So anyway, see you in a few. How are you now? Well, we got her zinged up. Pretty good there. Welded under the bottom. Tightened it back up. She's good to go now. Actually, these uh, spreader plates, they're usually aluminum, but these are steel. I don't know, somebody must have 
just bought them like that and upgraded just bought the paddles because I what I can remember these are freaking expensive to upgrade that kit instead of them little rubber piss flaps there so anyway gotta change the light bulb here and then uh, fill it with fuel and we'll probably be ready to rip here pretty soon so I'll talk to you in a bit here we go boys got it all set up here so I'm gonna get this dumped I'm gonna put it in back in this bin I got some leftover peas in here from last year so I'm gonna keep these uh, for seed so I got well, about uh, 500 bushel on the truck here so anyway I'll get her fired up and uh, see you in a bit they're fucking noisy so I probably maybe I'll video from the truck or something we'll see Hey guys, so the trick to these peas, here I'll come over here. So the trick to these peas when we're dumping them, you gotta, gotta try to run everything pretty well right full. Because if they're uh, too dry, it'll crack the seed coat and then they're, uh, they get classified as splits, which is basically dockage when, uh, when you haul it to the elevator. So, Keep everything full and then it seems to work okay. So fucking dusty here, holy shit. It reduces your splits when it's full like that, so. And away. I guess that'll be it for this video. Uh, the peas are done. We're gonna go and uh, take off that seed barley with. Uh, well, either one, I don't really care. But we gotta take off the seed barley, <laughs> and then we're gonna go try my wheat that I desiccated there. So, um, I guess thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.